Yo, what's going on guys? Proof here bringing the YouTube video. I'm doing a little bit different video today. Normally when I play Battlefield 1, there's two types of video you're going to get. You're either going to get a tips and tricks, or you're going to get a random road to master rank, or, you know, whatever. Uh, live comms sometimes. But in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I was thinking of some things to do, and I got a couple comments from YouTube, and I got a couple twi Twitter uh, notifications, and a couple people on Twitch that were watching my live stream literally 15 minutes ago. Um... You know, wrote me like, you know, be more personal with your, with your, you know, subscribers and stuff. And, and listen, I try to write everybody back in the comment section when you reply or when you comment. I, you know, I try to reply. I try to one up it. I just try to talk to you guys. There's a lot of times I just don't see the comments until it's too late and I just don't respond or whatever. And um, so I wanted to do this video. Now a lot of people say I complain on stream a little bit too much, and I guess I kind of do. I can see where people come from that, but. I wanted to make a video about the top five things that are most annoying to me in Battlefield 1. So, I don't know how I'm going to start this. I mean, I'm kind of lost when it comes to this because I, I feel like when I start, it's just going to be a big rambling rant video because there's a couple things that really piss me off about this game and really the people playing it more so than just the game, if that makes sense. Um, but either way, let's get into the video. We're going to start with number five. We're going to work our way down to number one. If at any time it gets sidetracked, I'll just have to deal with it, and I'll, I'll make a part two or something. I don't know. I don't know how long this video is actually going to be. Uh, right now I have about a 10-minute time frame that I have. Some random gameplays from operations that happened, like I said, 10 minutes ago. I uh, really didn't kill a lot of people, but I got a whole lot of points, so we'll stick with that. I mean, you'll see the theme working up with it in the commentary. So let's start with number five. The fifth most annoying thing about Battlefield 1 is people don't like dying. They, okay, they don't like dying, but they're not, they're scared to die in operations. I feel like, listen, I spend 90% of my gaming, my Battlefield 1 gaming experience on operations. I enjoy operations. I think it's a great game mode, but it's annoying from time to time. The reason why I say that is the fact that people are like scared to die in this game. And it's not just operations, but since I play it the most, I see it the most in operations. I see people sitting in corners going 0 and 5, and we're on the third sector. Listen, you got two objectives. You're either attacking or you're defending. Do it. Get on the flag. Put bodies on the flag. Make it harder for the attackers to take it. Make it, you know, harder for the defenders to defend it. That's how operations is supposed to work. You're supposed to be fighting on the flag. It's just, it's very annoying. So that's the number fifth thing. The number fourth thing, it, it kind of wraps in the number fifth thing I guess it's playing the objective now listen I get criticized like no other on YouTube comments about not playing the objective proof why don't you play the objective you're setting a bad example proof you don't play the objective proof hop on the flags more maybe you help your team win proof 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 objective 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 listen I don't know what you guys watch because I feel like I'm always on the flag I mean yeah of course there's times I'm not playing the objective full way but for the majority of the time, I'm on the flag. Like right here in this clip, I'm the oh, I'm, there's two people on the flag, me and one other guy. Actually, no, I'm looking at the minimap right now. It's just me. I'm defending. I'm the only one on this bitch. Where's my team? Now I got somebody here, but that's what I'm saying. Like I get so much criticism for not playing the objective, but I feel like I'm always on the objective. I always finish top five on the scoreboard because I have a lot of points from playing the objective. Sure, I get a lot of kills. But that doesn't mean that I'm not playing the objective. So when people say I've killed whorings like that, pisses me off. That's a sidebar. But playing the objective, people just don't like hopping the flags. People like to chill out. People like to, you know, I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. Like, it, it, you literally have two objectives in, in, in operation, sometimes three. You pick a fucking flag if you're on defense. If you're on offense, push a flag. That's what's supposed to happen in operations, people. It makes it smooth. So when I see people not doing it, that pisses me off. That's the fourth thing. The number three thing is the assault class. This is nobody else's fault. This is the game's fault. What the fuck is the assault class? This class is dog shit. The only good gun in this class? Okay, there's two good guns. The Hell Regal, which you have to get to class rank 10 to get. Don't get me wrong, I'm cool with grinding anything because, you know, it's a really good gun to get. But this fucking class sucks. You have an MP18 trench that is terrible. I think it's terrible. I, I mean, other people seem to like it. I feel like I'm hitting people with like 16 bullets for them to die. You have a shotgun that's overpowered. That's the only good thing about the class. 
The dynamite seems like it's dog poo poo. Because I feel like I'm throwing three of them on a you know heavy tank and you know it's doing like 30 damage. The anti tank mines are decent against infantry. They do decent damage against tanks and light tanks. You get two of them. Most of the time, you don't have other teammates helping you destroy the tanks. So that sucks. But I just feel like the Assault class is really, really underpowered. I don't know. Maybe once I get the Hell Regal, I'll think, damn, this class is great. It was worth it. But hopefully, hopefully that's soon because I tell you what, I am getting sick and tired of this MP18 Trench. And I don't like the Automatico. I don't know how people play with that damn gun. I hate the Automatico. I'll be the first one to tell you I cannot stand that. It's probably one of my worst guns in Battle for 1. I can't stand it. I'd rather use a Calibri. I have more fun using a Calibri than I do using the whole Assault class combined. But that's just me. All right, we'll move on to the number... I think we're on number two. I would. I think we're on number two. So, the number two thing that's most annoying in Battlefield 1 is the revive glitch. Actually, yeah, the revive glitch. Listen, the revive glitch has been in Battlefield since Battlefield Bad Company 2. There was a revive glitch for the first couple of weeks in that game. In Battlefield 3, there was a revive glitch. And in Battlefield 4, it seemed like every patch something broke. Most of the time, it was a revive glitch. So how do we go from Battlefield Bad Company 2 to Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4 and now to Battlefield 1? And I forgot Hardline. I'm sure Hardline had some type of a glitch like that, too. Actually, I know it did. So you're looking at Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline... Battlefield 1. It's five games. All five games have had some type or form of a revive, gl a revive glitch. <sighs> How do you... <laughs> as uh, I don't... Listen, I'm not a developer. I don't like hating on developers. They do a lot of hard work, you know, getting these games out to the people, but... Man, how do you have a revive glitch in five different titles? You would... You know, you would think they would fix that at some point. You'd think that'd be a priority. Hey, listen, Joe, the, the fucking revive glitch is terrible, okay? People can play it all the time. Why don't we fix it? Why don't we, why don't we sit down, collectively talk about it, and fix the fucking revive glitch? Because it is awful. Awful. It happens to me all the time. I'll get revived in front of, like, three people. I'm like, oh, easy three-piece. Nope. Gotta, gotta double tap my triangle button just to get, you know, be able to even shoot. I aim at the guy not shooting. I look like an idiot on string, so I'm like, dude, why am I not shooting? And then I realize, holy shit, I just got revived. <sighs> That's really annoying. The number one most annoying thing for me in this game is without a doubt people not knowing how to play their class. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can tell you this. Listen, if you're going to snipe, I don't have a problem with you sniping. It's in the game. Use it. Sure. Use the class. Use the scout class. I don't care. But for the love of God, use what the class gives you. If you're playing operations and you're sniping, I don't have a problem with it. Hell, sometimes I pull out a sniper too. But there's one thing in that class that can really help your team in operations. It's called a flare. People, people don't shoot flares. And I'm not sure why, because that's a whole lot of free points. That helps your team out because everybody's getting spotted. So, it just doesn't make sense to me. I see that happening a lot. There's always been that problem in Battlefield, the Battlefield franchise with the Medic class or like the Assault class and then the Support class. People just don't throw shit. Now, in Battlefield 1, it seems like it's not as bad as far as people reviving you, but I think they added that in there to really piss us off. At the bottom corner, it says, this is how far a Medic is. So, let's add it in there and say, you know, hey, a Medic just ran over your body five times. But Johnny ran 40 fucking meters away from you, so you just got to respond back in. Sorry. That shit's super annoying. That's annoying. The snipers are annoying. And people just not playing the objective. If you play the assault class, fuck up that tank. Throw some shit at the tank. You got it on your class, use it. That's the most annoying thing in Battlefield 1. And I do have an honorable mention. The honorable mention would be running. I feel like my dude can't run. There's times where my dude just says fuck you and crouches. On his own. And it's not my controller. My controller's fine. It works in every other game. And most of the time it works in Battlefield. It's just Battlefield. I've talked to other console players. I'm sure it happens on the PC too. Talking about how they can't run. Well, that's why. Because there is a fucking glitch somewhere in the system. In the Matrix. There's some fucking malfunction. Okay? 
hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know this was a rambling video, and you know I like making these sometimes. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And if you did, leave a like down below. Thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. It's boy proof. I'm out. Peace.